Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sudith here again for another part of our Dark Souls 3 Let's Play slash tutorial guide. <clears throat> it's been about a month since the last time I recorded uh, any Dark Souls 3. There was a For Honor update that hit, and then there was a... I got fairly into a game called Dungeon of Fear and Hunger. But anyways, we're back in the um, painted world just like we were before. Um, if I remember correctly, I showed you how to knock the trees down. And now I'm up here at Freed's. Uh, I had originally recorded the start of this episode, gone through the bottom here, and then showed you guys Freed. But since in real time, I'm only three days away from Elden Ring release. And uh, we haven't completed the core game. What I'm going to do now is just start going through the areas. Not speedrun style, but we're going to start killing those bosses that we've left around. Um, and then if we have time before Elden Ring comes out, we'll come back here and we'll get freed and we'll get, uh, the Ring City as well. So, for now, sorry, these cutscenes, you'll have to find them out on your own. Um, but we're gonna head to the next available storyline boss. I also want to know, um, what is it you guys want to see when it comes to Elden Ring? Would you guys like to see, um, me do a first impressions? Would you guys like to see me do, um, my first playthrough? completely recorded would you like me to do um, a guide similar to how i'm doing now after i've completed an elden ring playthrough what is it that you guys would like to see from me for that so you know let me know in the comments so right now we're making our way to lorien and lothric so where we're at now is lothric castle post um dragon slayer armor so we're here at the at uh the archives grand archives i believe i should be able to go in here Yep, since we've defeated all the other lords, we can go ahead and waltz right in here. Now, I am a little rusty, guys. I haven't played Souls in about four weeks, so... If I'm not playing like I was four or five episodes ago, that's probably why. Like, I probably should wait and then parry the sage and then get big damage, but we're just gonna hit her. Hit him? Her? I believe the sage is a girl. Somebody back me up. <laughs> ah, we missed the lizard. Man... I hate to say it, um, but after playing other games for a little while, this bastard sword feels so slow, guys. Holy cow. Ooh, we hit like a truck, though. I guess we're a little over-leveled, probably. Holy sheep. All right, what about you? Two as well, or one back step? Wow. Hmm. All right, I'll show you guys what these... Oh, do we have time to grab useless items? Uh, I'll show you I'm just going to play through it guys I'm just from this point forward I'm just going to play as naturally as I would and when I grab the things I would grab I'll tell you and we're not going to do any extras if we still have time left after the core game and DLCs have been completed I'll go back and show you how to get some late game stuff so you can grab this here in order to get loot I will show you this because we're not like this isn't a pseudo speed run or anything, guys. We're still going to take some amount of time here. I just don't want to leave you guys hanging with an incomplete guide. So I want to show you at least how to beat the game. Alright, so this lets you grab things from these without acquiring curse from those hands that pop out. I swear there was a lizard. Oh. I think there's two lizards, actually, guys. I believe I missed the first one. Oh, nope. Here he is. Look at that. Still got it, at least partially. We still have wax head? Yeah. So fun fact about this wax head, guys. This is actually a helmet in game, but there's no way to like access it as a permanent helmet. So on PC, if you ever see somebody with a wax head, you're part of the cool kids club now. Who knows how they got it? We'll grab this. Actually, there's quite a few items in here. Let's explore the archives a little. We're gonna we're gonna go on a bit of a murder spree. I know I keep bouncing back and forth, but I really can't decide whether I'd rather show you guys a bunch of stuff and possibly miss some things, which I just was trying to kite that around that pillar there, but didn't seem to work very well. We're going to go up and take care of the sage first, though. Sage is super annoying. Alright, that's the sage. These guys will shoot you with, like, a cum blast wax attack that will, like, make you unable to roll. We got the scroll from the, uh, sage, by the way, not the scholar. Well, come on, then. See, like, he's gonna do the wax attack, yeah. 
Did I really get hit with it? Yay, nay. I couldn't tell. I guess I should have tried to roll. Oh, cool, we got their call their uh candlestick. Alright, we're just gonna clear this out. I'll show you guys where to get some cool armor. I personally really like this armor set. We'll fight a little like overworld boss type thing. We're gonna fight this outrider night. So we want his clothes. And if you're a mage, you'll probably want the spell past him. It's a little goofy and doesn't really work that well, but it's cool. Sorry if I'm quiet a bit more often than usual, guys. It's taken a bit more active focus since I haven't played in a while. Oh, I was hoping we could just blitz him down. Dang. I thought I swung. I guess I didn't, guys. Oh well. Alright, so that's where you get the Outrider Knight armor. And this is where you get Soul Stream. Wow, look at that view. I really like the Grand Archives. This is probably my favorite place to invade. Let's check out that armor set. Blind or something? Yes. <laughs> Can we wear this? Probably not with the pants, huh? Yeah, not with the pants. Uh, it looks fine. It doesn't really go with our pants, probably because we had dancer pants, but we can swap the helmet up. Or is that a bit too boreal? Maybe that's a bit too boreal. Maybe the normal night helm's a bit better. So we're gonna drop down here. You know what, let's kill this knight. Whoa. So many items I usually don't grab in here. I'm, I kinda wanna know what's going on with you. Oh, red-eyed knight. Oh, I'm buffing red-eyed knight. A dead buffing red-eyed knight. Awesome. Totally not worth it. Now, you can drop off here, guys, and do a series of parkour to get a pretty cool crossbow. But I'm not concerned with it, and we're not going to use it, so we're just going to move ahead. Now we will, uh, that's a shortcut. I don't ever actually use it, so I'm not going to go down there and pretend like I use it for you guys. Normally I just continue through. We're just going to ignore these scholars. We're going to fight some of these gargoyles, though. Just because. There's quite a bit of, a. Uh, Upgrade materials to be grabbed here. I will grab a couple of them. Now, this is a, an ambush, guys. Yeah, so... We're gonna try to knock you off there. What? Look at this guy. He doesn't want to just fight. I guess that's the point of having wings, huh? But he's dead, though. Oh, I didn't check my game audio levels. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Hopefully not. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna try to kill these lizards. Awesome. So we got some Twinkling Titanite and some gems from those guys. Ah, tried to pull the shield out. Both of you guys. I'm not. Nah, come on. I'm trying to eat up too much of my time now. It's alright. There's not too much to this top half of the, uh, the archives. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> you guys ever seen him do that? I don't think he was supposed to do that. Maybe he was. Ah, uh, I definitely got waxed. Good look. See how I can't roll. So that's what that'll do. Oh, lucky drop. There's a bone shard. 
All right, so this is the shortcut I usually care about first. But we're really close to a second shortcut. The thing here that I'm going to do, and I'm going to recommend that you guys do, is there's going to be a bunch of NPCs, and I don't ever bother fighting them the first time. Like, even if I want their stuff, I'll grab the shortcut first. Because they will pretty much never catch you. Like, even if we grab this... Oh! I think we got staggered but didn't take damage. Yeah, it probably looks like it. So this will take us back to the start of the archives. But, if Elden Ring is something that you guys uh, would be interested in, then be sure to let me know, because that's probably all I'm going to want to play for the rest of forever. I'm just checking some things here, guys. Alright. Let's head back up. Wow, we have our wax head? Oh, we grabbed the second wax head. We grabbed the second one. Alright, let's fight those guys this time. You know, we'll use one of these. This group can be strong. I don't know how strong we are right now. I feel like we're relatively strong. Whoa! <laughs> Miss Perry Dagger here. Alright then. Let's let's see how we want to deal with these. I guess we'll do it on a first come, first serve. So you can, you can get it first. Oh, is that it? Come on. Oh. You're a crazy fucker. Are you kidding me? That missed. For this guy, can you parry the Great Axe? I believe so, right? I might just give it a shot. Man. Holy cow, I'm getting ganged up on here. Tactical retreat. You think you're cool? You're probably the lamest one. Will one of you just approach me? You guys are so lame. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. It's almost not worth the loot for this thing. Oh wait! Guys, I can spell parry. I'm bled, yeah. <sighs> That's fine. Wow. This group of losers. Oh, did I send the elevator back down? If I didn't send the elevator back down, I'm going to be kind of malting. I'm not going to lie. Ah. Oh. Cringe. Okay. Um step it up a little here then I don't know I want to parry these guys but something about that great axe I don't know maybe I'll give it a shot I'm also tempted to try to blitz the mage as fast as possible I think that's maybe what I'm gonna do here guys all right mage down much better Like a genius here. What's <laughs> the matter, boys? It's become a lot more fair. What? <laughs> what? Never in 10 million years. Excuse me? I staggered from that? <laughs> hey, let's grab this. Oh, 
Come on. We didn't catch that roll. Yo, yo, yo! You, you threw a fringe. Dude. Oh my god, stop. Finally. Alright. You and me. I don't think you can. I... It's alright. It's fine, it's fine. What a boring, wasted episode. Let's go up to Lorien and Lothar, guys. The Great Axe dude, and I forgot again? Actually seethingly mad. Unbelievable, guys. It just doesn't sit right. He has to die. Um, I don't care if the next 10 minutes are spent here. You all suffer the entire time. It really can't be... And what is that hit stun? I actually cannot dodge out of that. Oh my goodness. Read the fuck out of my roll too. This, this is a cursed existence. I'm just going to trick him down the elevator. Now, every day I have to live with my mistakes, guys. So, what do you want to talk about on our way back up this elevator for the ninth time? Maybe I'll show you guys a cool secret or something and then end the episode, because if I go lose to Lauren and Lothric now, I'm probably going to quit not upload this and just start an Elden Ring playthrough like nothing happened. Right. Now this is the best place to uh, farm souls actually. If you're talking about just killing enemies, these uh, ascended winged knights. We're just here for a spell that I want to show you guys. I don't remember having to go... I guess we do. One thing we're going to do, though, is uh, change that for that. So, put your cat ring on, guys. I really don't remember it being up this high. Pretty sure we missed it. Oh, sweet! Hunter's ring, though. Awesome. Not a waste at all, then. I think it's right here. <laughs> hey, well, there you go, guys. That's a ring that will increase your dex. Man, I'm just getting hit by everything today. Oh my god, the lion knight followed us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, guys, Dark Souls 3 is not being kind to me. Oh my goodness. I didn't send it down again. I don't even have commentary to fill this, guys. I don't I don't have anything to fill 30 minutes of incompetence. I kind of play in these episodes where I don't have to talk for 30 minutes. Alright. No, I don't... He has to die. Shut up. Oh my gosh. I roll like a half inch. Do you want to engage with me or not? Didn't get a third yet. Probably could have killed him. Just trying to bait it. A little late on the hyper armor startup there. Got him that time. Finally, Jesus Christ. That's fine. We still have time. We got like seven minutes to go try and find Lorian and Lothar. 
But there's another shortcut up here. Oh, Divine Pillars of Light, though. Oh, gosh. All right, Divine Pillars of Light, the shortcut. Next episode, we'll kill Lorien and Lothric. Then we'll kill the Soul of Cinder the same episode. Then we'll go to those DLCs. Man, apparently I need to, like, get a buddy in my world with a great axe or something because I can't fight people who are using them. All right, so we're just going to drop into here, guys. There's a little hole. Yep. There you go. Divine Pillars of Light. It's not that good, but if you're going for the trophy, then you'll need it, so. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think about where it is that I want to go back to. I guess we just want to go back over there. Should be good for our cat ring here. Yeah, totally fine. We hit like four things on our way down. All right, let's head. What is the other? Ooh, gold crest shield. Is that what this is? All right, that's a pretty good shield. That was worth it. Man, I don't know what is wrong with me. We should still have time within like a 30 minute episode to run over here. And I don't actually recommend grabbing this shortcut up here. But, you know, whatever. Well, rather, not that I don't recommend it. I guess I recommend it. I just don't do it. Because it's going to get these knights after you, then I'm going to have to rest again. But there's a slab down here, so you guys are probably going to want to see that. Oh, somebody fell down the elevator shaft. Alright, we should be able to do it again. Yep, and look at this. So where we're at now, guys, this is the room where you can summon Egan before the Dragon Slayer armor. And you'll take this down. It's just like the one in Bloodborne in the uh, DLC where you get the church cannon, if you guys played that. It's also very similar to the elevator in Dark Souls 2. We're going to Coiled Sword back. Okay, and almost certainly I didn't send this elevator down because it's the trend of today. Yep. <laughs> well, if I die in this one attempt we're going to do, then I, I promise I will send the elevator down from here on out. And you could have rested a dancer there, but honestly, I just prefer to run the bridge. The other elevators just isn't much of a shortcut. I just don't like it. I'd rather just run the bridge every time. So in this building up here, Lorien and Lothric. Now, usually I would regain my stamina earlier, so this might be bad. It certainly wasn't excellent. I'm not sure I would qualify that as bad, though. We're gonna quit here. Just because I want to actually give this an attempt. I want these guys killing this right at the last second. There's no point. I guess if I uh, don't finish the fight, we'll be extending past 30 minutes here. Alright. Let's get into this. There will be a cutscene for you guys to watch. What the... Who is this? Cirrus? 
Guys, I'm going to keep it 100% honest with you. I don't know if I've ever summoned Sears for this fight, so we're just going to summon her. What the hell? It's probably going to make this so much worse. All right, let's get into it. We're, we're short for time. Oh, dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the man Purloiner is a good interests word. me none. The fire-linking curse, the legacy of lords, let it all fade into nothing. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. Oh god, twin princes. Alright, where's Lorian? I don't know why I uh, two-handed the, the Bastard Sword. Alright, damage is fine even with her in here. So Lorian's just your typical slow guy, but he has a teleport. This is going to be maybe a little easier with her in here. Maybe a bit more annoying with him teleporting. But I guess if you've done everything I've done in the exact order, where's he at? Ooh, nice. Then you'll be at Lorian and Lothic with Cirrus. Which will make this fight considerably easier, probably. And I consider this probably to be the hardest uh, Lord fight. I'm probably dead. Because he's going to catch the teleport. Oh, because Sirius is here, he didn't. Guys, if you're on your own, Lorian probably catches that teleport. Plus, it's so helpful to have Sears here while we're trying to finish all this in a quick amount of time. This is great. Not just for this episode, but because of Elden Ring, like... Honestly, this is fantastic. She's kind of sucking, though. <laughs> At least she's soaking up some of the... Oh, we still got a couple. Soaking up a little bit of the damage for us here. Dear brother, I'm on my way. My brother, unyielding sword of Lothric's prince. Rise if you would. All right, so that's the gimmick. Little brother's gonna revive big brother. Probably dead. Cause yep, the delayed stab. Oh, not yet. Soul spear at her? Yeah, now she is. <laughs> oh, this may come back to bite us then, guys. Bringing her in there. Where are they at? They're gonna shoot their beam. What? Guys, tell me my dodge timing was off. I don't buy it. Dodge. Ooh. Roll that one. Whoa! Roll. Don't swing. Oh, no, no, don't buffer that. Okay, roll, roll. No spear. Flames. No spear. Here comes this to teleport. We're just roll spamming here, guys. Yeah, in the spear, but we... Okay, 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 now we're in fighting shape, finally. Yeah, that's why I brought a block up. Damn, I should have put the quarantine ring on before I started this fight. Oh, Gotta be honest, damn, the Yoshi brother. music I have playing in my headphones and the Dark Souls music. They aren't really vibing that hard together right now. 
Yeah, that's all right. Walk on, walk on. We're just gonna hail Mary this one. This spot. No, guys, look how close they both were. Oh, that's so bad. Ah, uh, that's all the time we had. Oh, dude. It's that panic roll. It's those panic rolls. All right, guys. Well, next time I record an episode, we'll go back there and get our vengeance. Funny, I did better against the princes than I did against those three NPCs. But we got through the Grand Archives and we saw the princes. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.